Hello and welcome back. Um, today I like to talk about this little frequency counter and as an extra it also has uh, a crystal uh, oscillator so you can test your uh, crystals. Um, originally this design is from uh, a German uh, radio uh, amateur, uh, Wolfgang Buscher. Uh, he calls himself Wolf <laughs> to be more uh, easy. Uh, I will put a link of his original uh, design uh, in the in the comment section and uh, maybe some links to the schematic diagram. You will find uh, a lot of similar uh, designs also with uh, four digits uh, because Wolf made it uh, open source even the program uh, in, on the on the pick, uh, pick chip. The only restriction of uh, using it commercially is uh, that you sell it for uh, a low price and uh, well if you see on the Chinese websites uh, that is what happened I paid around uh, seven dollars for this one and uh, it's actually quite good uh, I have put now my uh, signal generator and it's now on uh, 300 Hertz so let's see what that looks like I hope you can see the digits uh, no. Okay, that is uh, 300 Hz and uh, the last digit is not switched on. I don't know why, it's probably because it was added later. Um, as you see the dot is blinking, so that means we are in, uh, in Hz. So uh, let's increase the frequency. Uh, 1 kHz, so uh, the dot is still blinking, we are still in the Hz. Um, well, that uh, looks very nice. Uh, it, it was a kit. Uh, I built it in like, uh, I don't know, half an hour. It was very easy. Um, it comes with uh, variable uh, uh, with uh, trimmer capacitor. And uh, to be honest, I, I, I didn't adjust it. So, or they already did that in the factory or it is just good luck because uh, it, it just worked immediately. Now we are on uh, 10k and the uh, fifth digit uh, start working. It's it's completely uh, auto uh, sensing. Now we are on uh, 100k, 200k and you can see the dot is blinking uh, a, a lot faster. Now we are in the case. Now we are in uh, 2 megahertz and the dot is uh, now uh, steady. Uh, it should be able to go uh, to 50 megahertz, so let's uh, go up. We are at uh, 20 megahertz. Um, yeah, I would like to go higher, higher but my signal generator uh, on the high frequency doesn't output uh, too much power, so I'm unable to show you that. But what I can show you is uh, and the feature of the crystal tester is uh, really nice. Um, I have here a 14.7456 and we're just gonna check if it still works. And it does, 747, ah, it's close enough. And uh, I did not adjust the capacitor trimmer, so. still need to do that. So let me pick another one. This one is, see, I think it's at 10 exactly. Let's see. If, oh. Well, that's 10. When I have my uh, lab reference, I will uh, adjust this one perfectly. Um, but for now this is kind of good. Um, do realize when you have uh, crystals for higher frequency that it will probably start resonating on the base frequency. So that will be, uh, so this one says 9.0333 and what it says is actually 27. So if you uh, multiply that by uh, nine, uh, three, sorry, multiply this by three, 
and then you have your uh, crystal frequency so that that is what this because it's a very simple oscillator I will show you in the schematic diagram so be aware of that as you see it has very little components some people had problems with uh, uh, making the crystals oscillating uh, I did not have that problem but then it seems it, uh, the, the board needs five volts but if you do a uh, you, you and then maybe it starts resonating and, and some will uh, change some of the capacitors instead of the 22p you can try uh, 47 uh, but as I said I, I don't have that uh, problem here you see how they uh, at the fifth uh, digit um, they did run out of uh, output ports of the PIC chip that's why uh, the, the original one only had four digits but what I did now is uh, when all the four outputs are unused then with this transistor they use the fifth and then uh, of course you use the duplexing to, to show all the digits um, and that works very nice so I'm happy I have uh, one with five digits so that is a seven dollar uh, well spent uh, you have some fun building it and in the end it is uh, very nice to test your crystals as a frequency counter I, I will probably not use it because I have uh, proper uh, frequency counters but uh, as a crystal oscillator it's, it's really nice uh, yeah so uh, thank you for watching um, I put the links in the bottom so you can see uh, the documentation and, uh, and the schematic diagrams because uh, it is a kit and it comes with nothing so <laughs> see you next time bye bye